bring in all three videos. Then what we can do is we can edit the title. Right now the title is video-1. Well, we're going to want to change that. And you can just change it to what you want. I'm going to change it like this. And then next title. Okay, accept. Okay, now you'll see we have video one, video two, video three. Those are our titles. Now all we have to do is we create DVD. It tells you that it's going to be burnt to disk after it's finished encoding. So you need to make sure there's a blank disk in the recorder drive. So make sure that you have a blank disk in your DVD write drive before you continue. Click OK. And ask if you sure you want to proceed. And you can, if you don't want to see this anymore, you can click this. Say yes. Okay, it's saying the destination folder already exists. That's because I've done this before, so we'll say yes. And then it starts on its way here. So what it's doing now is it will go through all these steps first, prepare the files, encoding video, and you'll see progress bar along here. And it will go through each of these steps, and when it's done, you have a DVD that you can play in a DVD player and of course you can also play it on Windows Media Player. So we'll just let this run. Now you notice here it says title one of three, video one of one. So it's going through each of our files which are called titles and it's going to add all three of those titles to the video.